Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Taurus. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of January 25th through January 31st. We're just going to see what comes up. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, and not every reading is for you. So what do we have for Taurus for the week of January 25th? through 31st. What do we have for Taurus? Ah, oh, came out. The devil breaking free. Here, and it's reverse. So the devil's actually better in reverse because you're breaking free from something. This is freedom. Removing the chains. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. But this is definitely taking back your power. Taking back control. So it feels like you are severing ties or something like that. You know? I feel like, you know, it's, it's time. It's freedom. This is freedom. You must free yourself, and I feel like that is what you are doing. So that is breaking free from something. An addiction, something that is toxic or unhealthy, something that you have been bound to. You're breaking the, breaking the chains, right? I guess we'll take those. Flute, disappointment in a friend or a lover, broken ring, parting of the ways in either romance or business. So you are, you are breaking free from something. You're parting ways. Wreath, sorrow over a loss. There is going to be sorrow over this, uh, you know, breaking free. There's, it's not easy. It's not easy to let go. So I do feel like it is. there is going to be some sorrow. You are definitely parting ways from something. And there is some sort of disappointment that is probably causing you to break free. And this disappointment is with, it could be with anybody. Okay, but this is what is causing you to break free. You can't, you can't stay tied to this situation any longer. You must, you know, cut the cords. You must sever ties, right? You must, you have to. To heal, you know, you have to you have to break free to heal. I feel like you've been in an unhealthy situation and you know, can't do it anymore. So you're parting ways. What do we have for Taurus? What do we have for Taurus? I'm gonna go ahead and Page of Pentacles, new enterprise, starting over, starting from scratch. You may be starting a new project or you're doing something starting from the beginning, going down a new path. So this is a path to abundance. So it looks like you have a golden opportunity here. This is laying a new foundation. So I feel like you're using common sense. You're being realistic. You're ready to put in the work. You know, the Page of Pentacles is somebody that knows that it's going to be a lot of work, but they're willing to do it. This is committing yourself to something. So I feel like even though it's not going to be easy, I think that you're breaking free. It's not going to be easy. You have a new opportunity. You're going down a new path. Um, going south, Ace of Wands, going south, lack of excitement, lack of desire, no growth. Um... Somebody's probably upset. You may be dealing with some conflict this week. Uh, maybe, I don't know if it's a child or not. We have a couple of children here. I'm not sure. But the Page of Swords reverse is a conflict. But it feels like it could be a mild conflict. You, there, you could be dealing with somebody that, you know, you could be caught off guard or that is argumentative, that is hostile or aggressive. This is a troublemaker. So be prepared. You could be dealing, and this person could have some mental health issues. So I'm not sure. This is bad news. This is this is somebody that um, is very argumentative. Um, what is this person? So you're going to be dealing with this person. It looks like you have a new opportunity. You're taking the opportunity. It's right in your hands to break free. But you probably are dealing with somebody that, you know, um, isn't very experienced. They're not very mature. Um, they don't respect your boundaries. This person talks a lot. They may be spreading rumors, spreading gossip. This is somebody who, you know, is just a troublemaker. So you're going to be dealing with a troublemaker. Ooh, Two of Cups is about a union, a partnership. 
Ten of Cups. You're headed towards happiness. You're headed towards a new partnership, but you definitely have somebody here that is not happy about the opportunity that you are taking or that you have been given. You definitely have been given an opportunity or you have manifested an opportunity. You have somebody here that's not happy about it. You are headed towards abundance, emotional fulfillment, happiness, a happy union, but you got somebody that is working against you. You do have somebody that is working against you. This person's not happy and they're and I feel like they're they're uh and maybe they're just jealous you know this person and, and I don't know if they're jealous or they're just immature I mean pages are immature so I, I feel like uh this is somebody who butts their nose in where it doesn't belong they may think they know something but they don't they they lack clarity so it's somebody that is is childish and immature that maybe upset and causing some trouble for you as you are headed towards abundance and prosperity and and uh you're going down a new path that leads to this is a spiritual blessing it leads to a union it leads to a lot of happiness so because you are willing to do the work you're headed towards a lot of happiness i mean that's that's i mean the ten of cups that's extreme happiness right with a partner. So it looks like you're you're headed towards a new partnership by the looks of things. Where there'll be compatibility, where there'll be or if you you maybe you're already there, I don't know. You're definitely starting something. You're building a foundation where there will be a lot of happiness. Knight of Pentacles reverse. Now that is like I do believe you have somebody here that is jealous that may be trying to stop you or stall you or something like that. I mean, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse is, is somebody that is lacking common sense. They lack responsibility. You know, they're unfaithful or they're unhealthy or they're not qualified or they're unemployed or obsessed with holding on. You know, we do have somebody here. I feel like we do have somebody here that is obsessed. You know, they're obsessed or they're they're... Um, unrealistic. There's somebody here that is being unrealistic. I mean, the Knight of Pentacles reverse. That is that is uh, unstable, insecure. So you're dealing with somebody that is insecure, that is unstable, that has no long term plan. That is going to be causing you some problems this week. Or they're trying to. They may be doing something behind your back. It's interesting because we have disappointment in a friend or a lover. There is somebody here that is going to be disappointing you this week. But you're going to prevail. You're going to win. You're going to win with that six of wands. I feel like you're going to win. You're going to, you're going to, you're going to prevail over this. I feel like somebody's going to be fighting with you. They may pick a fight with you. They may try to fight with you to stop you from moving towards happiness. But you have a lot of experience. I feel like you have a lot of life experience. I feel like this is a battle that you will easily win with that six of wands. You definitely have somebody here that is not excited about your opportunity. They're not excited about it. They're jealous. They are upset. They may try to pick a fight with you. But you, ha you have everything you need to succeed. The opportunity is in your hands. Ah, Ace of Pentacles reversed. Ten of Wands, overwhelmed. Ace of Pentacles reversed is unplanned. Something is unplanned. Lack of planning. Too many responsibilities, trying to do too much. We have somebody here that is trying to do too much. They don't have any money. There's no money here. 
I feel like you have a golden opportunity, but we have somebody else that doesn't have any money. They're not qualified for the job. So I feel like, you know, you have a lot, you have a, you have a, you have a heavy burden. You're carrying a heavy burden. You're car carrying a heavy weight, taking care of all of this. It's like you're taking care of, you have too much on your back. I feel like you've got too much on your back and you're dealing with somebody that is weighing you down. There's somebody that is weighing you down. And this is who you are severing ties from. This person that it, you're severing ties from this person that is holding you down. You have too much to take care of. You have, you don't, you can't, you can't take care of them. They need to take care of themselves. So I feel like, I mean, we have the world card on the bottom. I feel like this week, I feel like you are completing a chapter or something with this person. You're dealing, and I don't know if it's a, you may be dealing with an earth sign or an air sign, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Could be dealing with anybody. Could be dealing with a fire sign as well. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But I see that you, uh, you need to let go. You need to let go of something that is unhealthy for you. And I feel like this week you are. I feel like you are breaking free from an unhealthy relationship. And I feel like whoever this person is, they may try to stop you. They may try to pick a fight, but they're not going to win. I feel like you have, you've already fought this battle. The battle's over. This battle's already over with the Six of Wands. It's already over. So anyway, I do see a loss here. I do see a loss. And I think that whoever, who, whoever, it's the other person is experiencing the loss. I feel like the person that you are severing ties from is going to be feeling the loss. And they're not happy about it. They're not happy that you have decided to go down this path. Anyhow, the world card is an accomplishment. It's travel, leaving the past behind. This is freedom, success, completion. This is completing one cycle and beginning a new one, beginning a new journey. There could be a change of residence for some of you. This is a whole new you. It's a whole new world, stepping into unknown territory, starting a new chapter. So I feel like this week you are, you are starting a new chapter. You've learned some sort of lesson and it does require you to sever ties with something that is unhealthy. And I feel like this, and I mean, it could just be an addiction. I don't know. You are severing ties. And you are but you do have somebody that, you know, is going to be disappointed over your decision to go down this new path. You've been given an opportunity or you've manifested an opportunity or you have worked for an opportunity. You have an opportunity in your hand that leads to building a new happy foundation. But I do feel like there is somebody here that is not going to, you know, they may they may be causing trouble. They may be talking, you know, this is a gossiper or somebody that just, you know, has a lot to say. You know, this is a talker, the page of swords in reverse, somebody that has a lot to say, you know, but doesn't, but isn't qualified. They aren't qualified for the job. There's, they're, they aren't. The Knight of Pentacles reverse is somebody that's not qualified. They're not qualified for the job. This is somebody that's a sponger or... You know, they could be too focused on money or they may, could be, who knows what it is. But this, this Knight of Pentacles reverse is somebody that is irresponsible. They're irresponsible. They're unfaithful. They're jealous. They're lazy. They're, uh, not qualified. And there could be a, this could be a financial loss for them. And maybe that's why they're upset because they're losing your, the, the financial part that you give them. So anyway, this week you are completing a chapter in your life. It's a major one. This is a major change. You know, the world card is the end of a journey. So I feel like this week, uh, you if you haven't uh, received this opportunity yet, you will be receiving it. You will be starting something new with that page of pentacles, knowing that it's not going to be easy. But you are going to be letting something go. You are definitely going to be letting something go that has been weighing you down. And, uh, 
you know, you may be dealing with some mild conflicts over this uh, parting of the ways. So yeah, you're parting ways from something. Good luck.